Hello, and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about printing and colour management. Now this is one of those really frustrating topics that people tend to get wrong quite often. Um, quite often it's hard to track your mistakes down and it's certainly very hard to uh, fix them. One of the areas that seems to cause more problem than ever is actually getting the likes of Lightroom to talk to your printer and making sure your printer understands the information being sent. So what we're going to do here is we're going to set up Lightroom to manage the colour from our image and then we're going to go into our print driver and set up the print driver so that it understands that Lightroom is doing the colour management. Now the printer I'm using here is an Epson Stylus Pro uh, 30880 which is an A2 printer and I'm also using Lightroom in a Windows PC. If you're using a Mac or you're using one of the other printers that are available, you'll probably find that some of these screens look very different, but the main options should still be present. So here we are now in the print module of Lightroom. And over here on the right hand side, you can see all the printer setup options. And the ones that I'm particularly interested in here are the print job. Now, the first thing you can see here is there's a section color management under the print job and at the moment that's set to be managed by printer. Now I don't want to do that. What I want to do instead is use a printer profile that uh, configures the image to look its best when used with a certain type of paper and the printer that I'm using. So I can click here and pick one that I've already downloaded which is the Epsom Stylus Pro 3880 archival matte paper. Now the archival matte paper is a paper from Epsom, it's a matte paper, it's not very heavy um, but it produces reasonably good results um, with the Epsom printer. Now as I've selected that you can see that I also get this rendering intent here um, being perceptual or relative. Which one's going to suit your image best will be um, determined when you're in the develop uh, module and you're doing soft proofing. Now I know this particular image suits the relative best because I checked it as I did the soft proofing. So that's the um, Lightroom print module actually set up in terms of color management. You don't need anything else, the print adjustments you don't need, providing you're using the right color management profile. Now the other thing you've got to do to get this to work properly is configure your print um, driver. Now I'm going to do that by going into the page setup over here. I can see my printer options here. I'm going to, as I said, use the Epsom Stylus Pro and I'm going to set the properties. So this is the print driver. It's got quite a number of options on here, but we'll just run through them one at a time. The first thing is you need to set the print driver up to understand what type of paper you're using. So even though we've selected a printer profile for managing color, you still need to select the right media. If you don't, you could end up printing with the wrong inks or too much ink or too little ink and the results won't be good. So in this instance, I know that I'm printing with a matte paper and I know that I can use the ultra premium presentation paper mat and get good results so I'll pick that one. The next thing I can do is select whether I want colour or black and white. What that will do is select either colour controls or black and white um, adjustments. This is a colour image so I'm just going to select colour. At some time in the future I'll show a black and white version as well and how to set up for that. But for the moment just leave that set to colour. The next thing I want to do is set the print quality. So at the moment um, I can just take the quality option but I don't want to do that. I want to select this option here which is quality options which lets me go into further adjustment. Now what I want to do is go for the maximum quality which you can see down here is super photo um, and it's the highest resolution option. And I'm also going to take off 
this high speed option here because all it will do is uh, produce a slightly lesser result than the highest quality. Now there is an extra setting on the Epson print drivers which is this finest detail. Now when I select that what it will do is try to print a much uh, higher resolution image. To be honest there's no benefit to that unless you're using a, a huge finely detailed image anyway so you don't need it so don't turn it on all it tends to do is use more ink. So that's the quality option set I want my highest resolution and I don't want any of the other options here high speed edge smoothing or finest detail turned on. Now the next thing I can do is select my mode being automatic or custom. Now this is all about how the printer handles colour. Now as we said before Lightroom is actually handling the colour management so what we want to do is turn any colour management off on the printer. What we don't want to happen is that Lightroom tries to manage the colours, sends the image to the printer and then the print driver tries to manage the colours further. That ends up in all sorts of weird and wonderful um, errors in the printing. So what we'll do here is we will select the ICM option which is for colour management and we'll then select the advanced option here. And what that allows me to do is set the print color adjustment and here I'm going to select to host ICM. Now host ICM is actually telling the print driver that Lightroom the host is managing the color for this print. So by doing this we turn off all further adjustment in the print driver. And that's it. The only other thing I need to do is select the paper size and the source and my printer is now configured. So just to run through that again, the media type, it's important so that you get the right amount of ink on the paper and that's the, in this case, the matte option. Set your colour to colour, set your print quality options to the highest quality or the level of quality that you want and then set ICM to host ICM so that you've turned off colour management in the printing. Once you've set those you can then click OK and OK again and that is the printer set up. I now know that I can print from Lightroom. Lightroom will manage the colour of the image based on the colour profile here and it will send it to the printer and the printer is now configured to actually not do any further colour management. Hopefully you find that useful, hopefully it solves someone's printer problems somewhere, I'm sure someone's having a, an issue with that as we speak and watch out for further um, sessions and videos where I'll explain black and white printing and probably also try to look at how to set up the colour uh, management on the Mac as well. Thanks very much. See you soon.